So, uh, so the discussion today is mostly about the uh, new feature which is introduced, uh, and the point is uh, this change in the server is mostly internal infrastructure change. So it's not something that you directly uh, 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 a feature for end user, but it's the internal component change and enables us to improve MySQL in, uh, and enhance it in future. So we'll just go through uh, what are the uh, changes which we have done. So this is the safe further uh, statement that we, this is it for information purpose. So the uh, talk here will be focusing on uh, what is data dictionary how does it look prior to a dot version and what advantages do we get up in a dot and onwards? So what is data dictionary? As we all know, when we create a table, uh, in a create table definition we provide what is the information you are planning to store. So this first row indicates metadata and these rows are basically data which you store. So the talk is about how we manage the metadata. And the collection of all metadata which a database server stores is called as data dictionary. Now what is the role of data dictionary in a typical DBMS server? So when you fire a query, and say select star from employee, the executor basically needs to know whether such a table exists. So that is when we, when the subsystem is contacted. So whether a field exists, whether a stored procedure exists, so, so th this is a central repository for all the metadata. So it is a ge generic picture of how it looks for all databases. Now let's look at how it is managed before it or two. So if we look at 5.7, this is before it or two, the table information is spread across different flat files. So the columns are stored in FRM, the triggers are stored in .trn and .trg, the schema property like cassettes are stored in a flat file called the .opt. The partition information is stored in dot par. And then the stored procedure metadata is stored in table based myism engine where it is non transactional. And there is also a duplicate copy of the table which is stored in InnoDB. So if you can see the metadata which is required by MySQL is spread over different formats. It's not, uh, there is no universal way that this is how you store metadata in here. So what is the problem with this? This is how uh, MySQL has been uh, evolved over years and this is what we have right now. And what, what are the problems out of it? So if you see the server has to manage this with implementation specific to files. So if I, if server needs to <coughs> store tables, there is a different model which handles. If server needs to store procedures, users and events, there is a different model that server infrastructure has to manage. So there is no common infrastructure to manage the dictionary information in the server. What are the problems because of it? And these problems uh, have been observed since like 10 years or more than 10 years and there are numerous bugs. And uh, it's uh, almost some of the issues we couldn't even fix because the, the dictionary information is all spread. So one of major concerns is information schema queries where the way it works today is uh, 
when you file an information schema query, we internally create a temporary table. The server gathers information, metadata from a flat file or my exam table or even InnoDB table, fills in and until that user won't see the data. So you can just imagine how much time it would take for a single information schema query to work. And if your database instance is big, the time taken is huge. So this is one of the problem. The second problem is inconsistency due to non-transactional storage. So uh, you, you, you are uh, creating a stored procedure and it's not transactional. And we have faced many issues around that. There are issues around uh, inconsistency between InnoDB keeping a metadata store and server's metadata like FRM. So there you have FRM content which has a column and InnoDB doesn't have it. So user could end up in such a situation and you cannot control that. And this is a showstopper for us. If server needs this infrastructure, we cannot live with varieties of formats as it works now. So this has to change. And replication is challenging. So the way uh, DDLs are logged, there are issues around that. And it's all custom handling that you, uh, for each case. So it's not a good architecture. And it's difficult to extend. Suppose if server needs to show a new set of metadata, and we have different file formats, the architecture goes more worse. So how does, what is done in 8.0 is we have consolidated all, I mean, the metadata is spread, uh, is not spread anymore and it's stored in InnoDB tables. Okay, the server uses InnoDB table to store the metadata of table, stored procedure, events, ACLs, and all that. So it's centralized. So if you look at advantage, we all metadata is stored in relational tables now. Then there is a sing, it's a single store. So the advantage of it is now it opens up door for more enhancements, like uh, a plugin can store metadata now in, in, in the dic dictionary. And it's very easy to implement some new DDLs which can store metadata. It, it, it brings in a new common interface. And yes, now information schema uh, gets faster because the old way of working where we need a temporary table is gone. It can just be a view over dictionary tables. Okay. The, this, is, this is just the way it depicts. So if you run information schema query, now it just goes through optimizer and it's a view which is just based on the dictionary tables. So this brings, it, brings us I mean, we will just show how, how, what we gain out of it. So, yeah, as, as I described, this, this infrastructure is mostly changed in the core of MySQL server. So, uh, what you see as an end user right now is we get two major things. Information schema performance is improved and now DDL operations are more reliable. So, uh, it enables door to make DDLs atomic, and then we have serialized data inform uh, dictionary information wherein you can move a table from one instance to other using serialized dictionary information. And uh, we also introduce a new command there for the import. So if you have a data file, SDA information and if you run import command, you just transfer a table from one instance of MySQL to the other. 
And uh, this is another big advantage. Uh, this enables us to automate data dictionary upgrades. Now we have we can number the version. Suppose this instance of MySQL has version, and if the the next release has changed some of the columns, inter, internal data structure, uh, data dictionary type, it gets automatically upgraded if you start the server with the old database. So that infrastructure. And th this is also a big thing that uh, there are numerous issues during upgrade. So it's not easy, it was not easy to handle. So this brings in new infrastructure for us to simplify things. So yeah, th this is a comparison of 5.7, how it works, and 5.8, how information schema would work. So if you focus, on 5.7, if I fire a query, I create a temporary table and that temporary table will be filled with information from file system, myisam and InnoDB table and then rows would be read from temporary table. So this was the architecture in 5.7 and in 8, we don't have anything of this, this it, I fire an IS query, it just works as if it's a user query. All the optimization which you get on a user query would be applied for IS query. Majorly the indexing part, the indexes which are installed on the dictionary tables are helping execution of IS query. Whereas here, we don't have indexes. It gets, gets worse and worse if your instance is big. So, when you benchmark with um, like 5,000 tables, and if you use information schema query to list InnoDB table columns, so what I'm doing just is I have 5,000 tables and I just want to know all the column name in the instance. And the gain we can see here is multifold. So minimum 30 times faster. And then in certain scenarios, if you increase number of tables in your instance, we have even observed more than 100 times of improvement. And for some of the customer, this is really a pain point. Uh, there are customers who whose um, server almost hung. Okay. On, on their instance, the, jet, the query just hangs. The server freezes. So, so you can just imagine that there are customers with 100k tables and more. And sometimes in in several cases, they they are uh, uh, scared to use schema information schema. That's the feedback we have got. Okay, so what uh, uh, the other benefits of server having common uh, data dictionary tables are. It provides us automatic BDL, uh, wherein the replication operations become simple. We reduce number of issues we have faced uh, due to crash during a DDL being executed because it was not automatic. And then, as we discussed, now data dictionary is versioned, which enables automatic upgrade management. And then. Uh, moving around the file, moving around the table from one instance to other. Uh, this was the way we used to do. We, where if you want to move an NODB table, you have to run a create table, then say alter discard, and then alter import. And this, and now with 8 or 2, you just have one command called import. And using the serialized information which is already stored 
the data dictionary will be updated. So, yeah, so the, the, um, these are the major advantages we take. And out of which, as I told when I started the talk, uh, this introduction of data dictionary is majorly an infrastructure change which enables us to enhance MySQL further uh, and simplifies things, reduces the problem. And yeah, that's all I had. If you have any questions. This is my question. What does you mean by atomic DDL? Yeah, so. Uh, we uh, we have alter suppose if you have alter yeah so right now if if it crashes when alter is in progress in between in between so alter has various phases now for example why we create a new table structure and that is stored in the disk in form of a parent can I start to connect to this right and then we and then we move to a phase where we copy data from the original table into this. And if there is a crash, we have a temporary table left over. Okay. Uh, right. So there are issues where HDMI. there is a crash, uh, server goes down, and then you see uh, there are several temporary dot FRMs, the cache SQL dot FRMs present on your disk. So with this, you will would, you wouldn't end up. It's like you call, it's like a transaction start and stop. If transaction is not committed, nothing is preserved. It's rolled back to the previous. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Last talk. You have a place where I can. No. Okay. A round of applause for Gopal.